Did Mr. Beast eat Abe? Did Abe get in there? I thought maybe he flew off and um, because uh, Brand, Brand, well, uh, I thought maybe he flew off and Brandy said, well, didn't you clip his wings? Yeah, like four or five months ago, them wings will grow back and they can still fly up. You took a job in the middle of the country I packed my guitar, you pack your suit Gonna leave behind a land with no seasons I'll keep us warm inside my boots I'll take out the trash while you're bringing the cash I'll try to have supper ready at eight And while I write songs while I mow the lawn I'll be thinking of you at the corporate I'll be the man of the house who's big on love and big on talent A significant spouse whose job it would be to find the balance between our dream and the doubts The man of the house My standard of living means all my giving is gonna be short in dollars and cents. And when it snows, all my in-laws will know that my songs ain't paying the rent. I'll be the man of the house who's big on love and cursed with talent. A significant spouse whose job it'll be to find the balance between our dreams. Can't believe how fortunate I am. You know I'll do the best I can. You let me fly with my feet on the ground. I'll be the man of the house who's big on love and blessed with talent. A significant spouse whose job it'll be to see the balance between a Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. It's going to be the 4th of July weekend coming up. Um, it's actually Thursday morning here. You guys see this will be Thursday evening. Today I need to talk to you guys about um, we're, going to go, we're going to go check on the pigs. You've seen me taking care of the chickens and uh, we're going to go check on Abe. Now Abe went MIA. We could not find Abe anywhere. Abe is gone. Completely disappeared. We don't know what happened to him. That was about two days ago. Well, yesterday, Brandy and the girls were out feeding the pigs and watering them and doing all that and the goats. And here comes Abe. He just comes wallowing up there like no, no big deal. Um, but so we'll get into that here in a minute. We're going to go out there and check on the pigs, water them. And it is a hot sucker out here already. It's like, it's like 10 in the morning and I'm already sweating because of the humidity. And it's going to be 100 and something degrees today here in Oklahoma. It is hot, hot, hot. And I think that's, it's like that everywhere. But all the chickens are doing good. Um, uh, Let's see, we got we got we took the baby chicks off this mama chicken um, because the bigger ones were picking on them. We got them on the back porch and uh, eventually we'll bring them back out here. But right now they're all doing good and uh, we'll do a little update on Mr. Beast the pig. He is getting big. Mr. Beast, that's what we named the big pig out there. And uh, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you out here at the pigs. Sue, what are you doing? Sue, really? Why are you out? Sue, <laughs> you can't get back in now? Okay, all right, let's see here. Sue, bad rooster. You're out here, come on, go back in there. Go, Sue, you're a bad influence. There you go, Sue, get in there. I better fix that real quick.
Yeah, okay, got it fixed. You can see the boards have shrunk during uh, the summer here. You know, because I didn't have any gaps in the, in there. And now look at the gaps in them because they've shrunk. And it shrunk quite a bit to get me to have to do that. But it's taken care of. That ain't coming open no more. Okay, if you notice in the background, you will not see uh, my green machine, uh, the van, the green van. Um, I didn't sell it, but I know someone's going to mention, hey, where's the green van at? We haven't seen it in a while. It's at the shop. I think my old pump's going out on it, and uh, my mechanic's going to take care of it. And also, they're going to put uh, fix the AC in it. it never, the AC's never worked since I've had it. And I was like, you know what? Since they're going to fix that, they might as well try to get that AC taken care of too because it's, it's been a hot, hot Oklahoma uh, year and for the, you know, not even middle of the summer yet. Um, but I think Kevin was saying that it's the dry, it was the driest June we've had on record. I think is what he said. It was crazy because we got so much rain during the spring. Oh, it was, I was like, this is going to be a wet year. But let's go, let's check on the, let's check on Mr. Beast and all the other ones. And let's see if we can find Abe. Now they said Abe came out last night and that's the thing. I was like, uh, did Mr. Beast eat Abe? Did Abe get in there? I thought maybe he flew off. And um, because uh, Brand, Brand, well, uh, I thought maybe he flew off. And Brandy said, well, didn't you clip his wings? Yeah, like four or five months ago, them wings will grow back. And they can still fly up um, high enough to get out of this uh, fence. Um, but let's see if we can see him. Hey, what y'all doing? Hey, Shadow. Hey, you haven't got stuck in a while, have you? She's one that always gets stuck. I thought I'm going to have to put a piece of PVC pipe on. I was like, one more time, and you're getting the PVC pipe. All right. Looking good. What's up, Daniel Snob? <laughs> They're still shy. These are other, other ones are still shy. Let's see. I see. There's Mr. Beast. There's the two smaller ones. We're missing one. Where's the bigger one? He's doing way, way better. Way better. I don't have any scraps for you, but uh, I'll throw some water in there for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that water out and get it cleaned up, and I'm gonna fill up the water too. He wants scraps bad, bad, bad. Oh, there's Abe. There's Abe. There you are, Abe. He's gotta be hot. It's just hot out here. We won't mess with him too much, but he's there. There's the other one. She's uh, Yeah, she's eating. Let's give Abe some water. I've been catering to them because it's so hot out here. I've been giving them food and, and water underneath the trailer. Um, I was going to move the trailer out of here, but the goats really like getting on it. Abe likes hanging out underneath there. I think he feels protected. I don't want to mess with him too much. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to Abe? Because you guys know we've been busy this last weekend um, at the off-grid property, uh, clearing it all weekend. But I had seen him during the weekend when we come home, come out here and water, he was there. And then one day, he's gone. He absolutely just disappeared. And I was like, if he was gonna fly out, he would have done it during mating season. So I don't know, these pigs are going crazy over here. So I was like, I don't know what happened to him. We looked around the field to make sure he didn't he didn't die. He could have been up in the tree. We kind of looked in there. I was like, Randy asked if they roost. Yes, turkeys roost. So he could have been in the trees, but we just don't know where he was at. He disappeared uh, for a couple days and then uh, he came back. So Abe's back and uh, he seems to be doing fine. So I don't know, I don't know. I, we, we lost him. I was like, he's gone. I got to tell everyone he's gone. It's sad. The girls are upset. Then he came back. What is this? The pigs didn't get that? Oh, right. they can fight over this one. There you go. I know you guys like watermelon. <laughs> you better get it. You better get it. I don't think we have any scraps, so I'll go check in a minute. Okay. 
Miss Attitude. Miss Attitude. Why do you got such an attitude? Mr. Beast is doing good today. Really? She's always the one that freaks out on us. She's she's the one, the main one. There's three different sizes, like usual. You've got the big one, the medium, and the smaller one. And he doesn't look like he's losing at all. I can't really tell if he's gaining, but he's definitely getting around way, way better back to normal. So that's what happens when you guys fight. That's what happens when you fight. You lose your snacks. <laughs> um, maybe I can get some marshmallows out here for you guys. That's how we've always trained our pigs with marshmallows. But, hold on. Put that mineral block in there. I've never done that before with the pigs, and I thought, you know what? Maybe they'll eat on it. The pigs like mineral too, but they really haven't messed with it a whole lot. And um, this water, you have to you have to dump this out and fill it out not once a week because they'll just get mud all in it. So we'll get it cleaned out. I need to get in there and get that chalk out of the mud hole, but I don't want to go in there without giving them some snacks and want them all over me. We'll get this filled up and we'll get the mud wall filled back up too. I always fill a little bucket of water out here for the little ones that have to come out here and drink it. You know they got plenty of water over there. They're actually over there drinking AIDS water too. <laughs> That's the easiest way to fill it up if they won't pull it out, but they'll come over here and pull it out and I'll end up squirting it in there. We'll see how much I can get actually get filled up before they grab the hose. That's drying up every couple days now. Um, just because it's so hot and humid out here. There we go. There you go, Mr. Beast. Oh, Mr. Beast likes the water. Oh, you a hog? Look at that. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. Mr. Beast, I'm glad you didn't eat Abe. Thank you. Look at that. Is that not awesome? And he's drinking it off his back. What are you doing? And he said, quit drinking off my back. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. That's funny. So the little one's drinking uh, water off Mr. Beast's back. All right, here we go. Now they found the hose. Really? You couldn't wait five minutes? Five minutes is all I asked. And you grabbed the hose. All right. I guess I'll do the, the harder way. All right, I'm going to walk back up to the house and I'm going to get um, Abe some food, uh, feed him. And we'll go back and I'll go in the house and see if there's any um, scraps for the pigs. I don't remember seeing any, um, but there might be. So I'll be back in just a minute with, uh, with Abe some food. Okay, I got Abe a little bit of a barnyard mix. Hopefully these goats don't come over here. Goats are about as dumb as sheep. Uh, once they see grain, they go full-blown crazy. Um, but I distracted them. I gave them a little bit over there. So let's see if we can get Abe some.
You getting some, Abe? Can't see. Is Abe getting any? Oh yeah, he's going. He's got a little barnyard mix there. He's got some crap corn and some other stuff in there. He's liking it. Abe, you scared us. Don't disappear like that again, buddy. <laughs> we thought you was gone forever. There may be some changes coming for you. We'll have to wait and see. We'll, we'll just wait and see. We'll watch him eat for a minute. You got plenty of fresh, cool water, and hopefully the goats don't come over here and harass you. Okay, so Abe is doing good. Hopefully he uh, stays stays in the pen. Uh, like I said, I don't know where he went. So they're all doing good. You can see they're growing like weeds. That one, the, the one that was sick a couple weeks ago is doing way better. That's pretty much just an update what's going on. You guys have been asking for an update since we've been off the homestead for a few days. What? Look at him. I, I looked for scraps and we had no scraps for him. Sorry. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll give you some scraps. <laughs> you got plenty of food over there. Look at them all lined up. Look at him. Look at Mr. Beast right there. Are you crying? I forgot to look for marshmallows. Hey, next time I come out here, I'll bring you guys a little treat. Some marshmallows. Okay? All right. Bye. See ya. <laughs> okay, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, Brandy's out. Brandy had to work today. The girls are in the house. It's just too hot for them to get out here and be messing around right now. Um, early, early in the morning, they helped me uh, water. And then in the evening, they'll water too. So we'll let them enjoy today uh, just being kids inside, relaxing. But yeah, we're going to be going. Um, the plan is to go to the off-grid property this weekend. And I'm going to start clearing uh, the road by following some trees. I got I to gotta fall some big trees out of the way. And uh, the plan is to save those trees um, for either firewood or for milling. Hold on a second. Yeah, for either firewood or for milling, uh, just depending on the tree and all that stuff. So um, I got to go into town here in a little bit and buy some PPE, personal protective equipment, uh, for when I go out there to fall some trees. Um, I haven't fell any trees. Ooh, it's been it's been several. It's been probably well since the fall. Yeah. So I need to get my equipment gathered up, and uh, I got to go buy a pair of chaps if they have them um, because. Those are those could be a leg saver for sure. Okay, it's a little cooler in here, but I'm telling you, it's hot. It's hot everywhere right now. <laughs> all the YouTubers I've been watching, they're all like, it's hot, it's hot, because it's hot, and you all know it too. Uh, so I hope you guys are all staying safe and you know doing good out there. You guys, we thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, I know this probably wasn't a very long vlog, but I just want to give you guys an update because it's been like a week since you've guys seen any of the animals. So we just like I said, we've been out on the off-grid property, and they're gonna be a mixture of off-grid. Uh, uh, projects and the farm life so I think it's gonna be a good mixture you guys will like it um, probably more off-grid stuff will be during the weekends when we're off and the farm life will be um, during the week when the when Brandy and the girls can vlog and I can get home vlog and all that stuff so hope you guys are enjoying uh, the channel if you guys are new to the channel thank you very much if you're old thank you very much uh, we appreciate each and every one of y'all we love you guys we love all the support you give us and it just means the world to us that there's people out there that support us like you guys do so with that being said Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on next video.